Okay, greetings everyone, this is First Centurion 753 with the next episode of Victoria 2, Russian Empire. And in the last few episodes we were conquering Persia, developing a corridor down here through the Middle East to the Persian Gulf. Uh, I've also grabbed a bunch of colonial lands here and there. There's some more lands, uh, uncivilized land to grab here, uncolonized land. And I think we are also at colonizing something right here. There it is. All right, I'm going to press play here, see what's going on. And we're making good money, $200 per day. Oh, no, what happened there? That always happens at the beginning for some reason. Just drops off. Uh, and there it's back to uh, 97. Oh, my God, what is happening? For some reason, the game always gets a little disrupted in, like, the first couple days when you start playing. I should probably speed it up a little bit. We'll get past that quicker. And that's more normalized. There you go. What's going on in the rest of the world right now? I don't really, I haven't been paying much attention. What's going on with my uh, colonies here? Hejaz, uh, Mongolia, Yemen are the areas that we are working on. Moldova is in our sphere. There's another country I was worried about. Persia is friendly. Oh, Korea. Was it Korea? Yes. All right. So we're going to decrease. Uh, no, no, no. Decline that. We're going to decrease opinion of the United States so they are no longer cordial. There it is. And we're going to add them to our influence run. Got to make sure no one gets into Korea there. Yemen is also in our sphere, but almost fully in our sphere. And I'm not going to have to worry about it. In a couple seconds, that's it. We're going to be done with that one. All right, good. So one point or point one six nine to Mongolia, point one seven five to Korea, and point one four zero to Hejaz. I was thinking I'm probably going to go ahead and try to sphere as many of these uh, single region countries as possible because. Oh, major discovery. That's good. That's going to help us out. Single region countries like Oman, I believe, is a single region country. Just Oman. Uh, and Abu Dhabi. And Yemen. Are, and Hejaz, Hejaz. Are all going to be difficult countries to conquer. Because they're going to take up a lot of infamy. But what's not going to take up a lot of infamy is this country right here. Uh, Nij Nij I don't know how to say it. I think it's Saudi Arabia, basically. And this province here uh, is the location of the Anwar oil field, which is the oil field that the Saudi Arabians extract most of their oil from in modern day. And I believe by 1873, we have a sphere here, uh, by 1873, I believe, okay, what is that? Who is that? I don't know who that is. By 1873, I believe uh, we will have oil being produced in that uh Province. So here we go. Um, was it them? Who is gonna? Who is it? Sphere of influence. Cordial. Increase opinion. To friendly. There we go. Okay. Who is this? This is like a Native American or an Indian. I don't know where that is. Oh, we just lost it. I don't know what country that was. I feel like it's it was an Indian country. Did they become our ally? There we go. No, they were not added to our list of allies. Protected by Egypt. Manchuria, Moldova. We could bring in Moldova as an ally. Wallachia. We've got Scandinavia, Austria, Korea. I feel like I'm missing a big one. Egypt was a big one. Wallachia. We do not allow to negotiate with satellites of other dominions. Alright. I guess they're a satellite of the uh, Ottoman Empire, probably. All right, we are we Egypt is not at war with anyone. They are within our sphere. We can go back to form the alliance with them, and maybe that will deter someone from attacking them. But I doubt it. 
which means we'll just have to break the alliance again, which, I don't know, does that impact, uh, I don't know if that impacts, uh, prestige or not. Let's take a look at the overall score here. We are 282, Prussia is ahead of us at 342, France is at 405, United States is at 448, and England is way ahead of everybody else. I want to kind of play a series of England just to see what I can do. I was reading up on that, on some of the strategies involved with that. So, maybe that might be next. Um, somebody wanted me to conquer all the rest of Persia. I don't know about that. Well, let's see. I might conquer these two provinces. And then, I could move into this province as well. Right? Oh no, that's the one we're colonizing. We should be colonizing this one too. We are colonizing it. Breach loading rifles, very good. Does that include everybody? I guess that includes everybody. Yes. Alright, so we're going to grab that. I might grab two more pieces off of Persia. And I want to slice off this piece here. And then we're going to look to colonize here. Once the great game begins and the great scramble for Africa. I wanted to actually look at that. Uh, railroad. This is the one I didn't want to look at. Unit messages. Oh, factories. That's right. I need to build factories. All right. Let's see here. Kazan. I was thinking about putting factories here. So let's go ahead and encourage craftsmen. And I don't know where this is. I believe it is somewhere in the middle here. There it is. All right. So. What type of resources do we have here, infrastructure-wise? There is lumber and grain. I am thinking about... We have rotten burrows. Look at that. I am thinking about building a factory here. Doesn't matter which one I do it on. I don't know. We could do a lumber mill here. Or a paper mill. Oh, we have uh, Turkmenistan. What's in demand? Paper is not in demand. The lumber is in high demand. Paper is not in high demand. Alright, so lumber it is. New lumber factory. I was looking at it. This is Kazan. Expand. Lumber. Where is the lumber? Lumber mill. 8,000. Let's go ahead and build this. Right there, we're encouraging workers. I need to start encouraging capitalists, too, probably. I think I am. Population. Encouraging soldiers in Kursk. What is our situation? We have zero capitalists. What about in the country as a whole? Zero capitalists in the Russian Empire. How are we looking here? 903... And we've got one glass factory expanding. I feel like I can change that to a capitalist. And down here, let's get rid of some of these subsidies as well too, right? I feel like I want to get rid of some of these subsidies. They all look good. Um, we could use another something down here. Moscow. What do high demand? Opium is in high demand. Probably another steel factory, but that's not in high demand. Coal is definitely in high demand. Furniture looks good. Why not expand the furniture? It's working. There we go. Expand the furniture. We've got lumber mill, furniture expansion, glass work, glass factory. All right, we're probably gonna have to expand the industries a little bit more, but at least they're they are expanding. Uh, what is going on here? Pause this game. Where do I do it? Right here. It should be here. Create a protectorate. Very good. And now we have our further Russian expansion into Central Asia. Turkmenia. 
Uzbek. We could probably go to war against these guys and just grab this slice right here if we want it. There's cotton and wool. Not a ton of people, but there is cotton and wool. And this, culturally, is Turkish and Persian. We want more Russians. Alright, let's continue going down the line here. And I'm going to need some... Uh, I'm going to need a navy down here. So let's start building ships. Uh, Clipper transport. Clipper transport. Clipper transport. And another Clipper transport. And here, commercial raider. I do not have another naval base around here somewhere. We should have another one. I could probably put it right there if I haven't put it anywhere. Naval base. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they're working on that. Alright, so we're starting to produce some clip ships. We'll need that for the invasion here. I think there's a rebellion in Persia. Not in my country at all. Speaking of rebellions in my country, let's check out movements. Let's put down this movement. Clergyman. We'll take that. Suppress that. Suppress that. Uh, a lot of liberation movements are <laughs> propping up here. Suffrage movement will keep. Latvian liberation. Suppress that. And I guess we'll wait. Crimean liberation is new. Azerbaijani, Azerbaijani nationalists have five rebel brigades. And Russian anarcho liberals only have one. Very low risk of rebellion, so not doing too bad. Minority building restrictions. There's our assimilation. Uh, Temperance League is helping. Academic confusion is not helping, but it will be over soon. Four years. And penal colonies are giving us prestige. Alright, so that's the best we can do there. All pops in Georgia, where all of the below is not Russian and does not accept the culture, gain militancy, or we lose research points. I'm going to go with this one. All right, naval base constructed, railroads, more railroads. Made a lot of progress with railroads. All pops lose militancy. All right, let's see. We are importing timber still. Stockpile of fish. Let's stockpile the fish. I'm gonna let these rebellions play out here. What is this? Persian reactionaries. That's a conservative movement. We should probably be recruiting more soldiers. Last time I recruited a bunch of engineers instead of actually doing what I wanted to do. All my armies are here. We've got a navy. All right, let's put them here. Let's go ahead. They are allied with somebody. Clergyman population, we don't want that. All clergymen gain consciousness. That's good. They are allied with Ethiopia. They're actually a country I'd rather, I'd like to conquer. All right, so let's go ahead and justify war goal here. And we're going to do demand concession, which is only five infamy, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we can add some war goals as the war goes on, which would be a nice thing. All right, put these together in a fleet. Let's march this army here. Bio Biologism. That is going to give us a ton of... Uh, 
Research. Academic efficiency, right? If we get Darwinism. 50% academic efficiency with Darwinism. We're doing pretty well here financially. I'm wondering if I want to lower taxes at all. Middle class is doing really well. I think maybe the lower class. Because that's we got soldiers and craftsmen. 23 is their effective tax rate. Knock it down to 22. We've got Mongolia now moving into our sphere of influence. Let's check out Mongolia. Add to sphere. Beautiful. Korea seems to be maxed out. I don't think we have anyone to worry about here. Uh, the Scandinavians are cordial. So let's decrease the opinion of the Scandinavians here in Korea. Let's go down the line of the rest of our sphered states. Yemen has nobody pursuing it. Wallachia. Uh, the French are stalled by somebody. Probably the Scandinavians. Yep. Uh, Serbia. Nothing. No threat there. Mongolia. No threat in Mongolia. Moldova. Uh, looks like the British and the French are sort of vying for it a little bit, but the French have been slowed down by the British. United Kingdom. Manchuria. Manchuria. Oh boy, look at that. Let's take it. There's our infamy gain. Who is, uh, the United States is cordial. We got two countries that are, they were slowed down. Do Scandinavia. <clears throat> we're definitely going to have to put uh, more resources there. All right, they're coming to fight for us. Yada, yada, yada. There we go. Egypt. Looking good. We have gained concession. Casus Belli. Uh, Shimoda Treaty. The first official Russo-Japanese agreement called the Treaty of Friendship. Yeah, right. Until the Japanese... Uh, Russo-Japanese War starts, right? Um, Treaty of Friendship, Trade, and Borders was signed by the Russian Ad Vice Admiral Putyatin on February 7th, 1855 in Shimoda. Uh, the Northern Kuril Islands become part of Russia. We had that while uh, Sikhilm, Sik, Sak, Halim, Halim? Remained under joint jurisdiction of the two countries. Hey, we have that colonized. I don't want that. Uh, Japan agreed. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't have it all colonized. I think we do. Japan agreed as well to open, the, open three of its ports to Russian traders. We can't stop progress. Relations with Japan, 50 improvement. Did we lose any territory? No. We have that island, and we have those islands. So we have contained... So according to that treaty, Japan would be controlling this part, which has coal. And I believe the there's oil up here, I think. So we've taken the entire island. That's a little bit more. And then also these islands, too. Not 100% sure what the history of these islands is. But um, we're a little ahead of history there, I'd say, right? Glass factory constructed. I should build more factories. All right, I need an industrial strategy here. Biologism. Oh, there it is. That's a huge victory. Um, how do we get this? Impressionism or philosophy of language. We already have genetic heredity. And we also have to be concerning ourselves with um, the colonialism that's going to be coming soon. Or maybe it's this one. Mission civilized. All right, we have that. Medicine is the other one, right? Where is the... There are three technologies or discoveries. We have it. Life rating. All right, good. Three technologies you need for colonial expansion, particularly into Africa. Colonial negotiations is the last one. Machine guns, economic responsibility, naval logistics. Those are the three. Uh, any great power has the colonial, colonial negotiations. 
that's another one. So the trick is once somebody gets it, you want to have it right away. So I'm actually, and we do have a lot of uh, colonial, um, we have a lot of colonial, I'm just thinking of stuff right now. We have a lot of uh, colonial power. I'm wondering if we should maybe even grab some land from Ethiopia in this upcoming war. Which, if that happens, we're going to need a lot, a lot, much bigger navy. Because if we can grab land from Ethiopia, then we're already going to have a foothold on the continent. We can expand. I'm going to go after, like, coastal regions up and down the East African coast. Just explain what I'm doing. My strategy is. So here's uh, Djibouti, which is a major um, strategic area in the world today. Uh, I think China... United States, England, I don't know, Italy, France, maybe England, they all have uh, military bases here. And this is a choke point, too. Not that it matters as much in this game. But that is sort of the starting off point for where we might want to expand. What are these? We might want to conquer these guys. That's Oman. Okay. So Oman has these colonies here. A war with Oman can maybe give us these colonies. And then if we can just grab this one right here, Somaliland. Alright. I don't know if we can get the Somaliland as a whole. But I really want to close off the entire East African coast from any European colonization. And then we can move inland from there and conquer Ethiopia, and maybe even conquer Egypt if we need to. They're an ally. I don't know. We'll see what happens. The Ottomans are still allied with the Prussians. I do not want to go to war with Prussia. That would be a sense. We are allied with Austria, which hopefully is maintaining a balance of power. And Scandinavia, right? These are our two allies in the region, yes. So, sort of containing Prussia right there. All right, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Please like the video if you are. Feel free to comment down below. I appreciate all the comments. Uh, like the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already and you'd like to see more videos. And click the bell button for constant updates. There's a link to the Patreon page in the description below. I don't know what technology I'm going to do. I'm going to figure that out in the next episode. So thanks for watching again. See you in the next one. Bye.